Hello everybody, and of course, welcome back to Dickie's Videos, where no war game remains unplayed. And here we are again with Field of Glory 2. Uh, and of course, this is the rise uh, uh, of Macedon, uh, the tournament uh, of 2020-21. Uh, and of course, this is my tournament uh, overview videos. Of course, this is the overview of round one. Uh, which of course is Macedonians versus Greeks. Uh, I am slightly behind on these this video, Fred, so please bear with me because they're going to be coming hot and fast in the next couple of days. Um, so remember, these videos are in three parts. Uh, you've got the deployment, the battle, and then of course this tactical overlay look. Um, of course, uh, really enjoyed this um, tournament. It is now finished. I am now, but I'm just going for my videos. And I hope you enjoy uh, my next couple of battles coming up very soon. So here we are, of course, with round one. This is Macedonian versus Greeks. Um, of course... <sighs> Uh, as I said in my tournament um, over faction overview, uh, the um, the the what do you call it? What do you call it? The the advantage, of course, is in all the pikes. Uh, in all the factions here, the Macedonians have the advantage uh, against the Greek heavy foot. So as you can see, um, I will a little kudos. Uh, I did win this battle. My opponent was new. Um, Poe Man, you played amazingly. And I hope you're watching this or your son is watching this because I know he mentioned this in the video uh, when I was playing it. Um, and I've got to say, um, he played brilliantly being very new to the game. So here we go. A classic pike um set up really um unfortunately my opponent being new um spaced his cavalry to the left unsupported by his infantry so unfortunately these need to support each other in any game but we had the classic lineup of all the pikes i could possibly uh, amass uh, supporting cavalry with a couple of supporting of mercenary hoplites okay so we're gonna we're four minutes already into it so as you can see uh, unfortunately his lights are uh, spaced out to the left but you know what it's still going to be a fight and um, to be honest with you if you've watched the battle it is a bit gruesome and i've got to say if you are watching this playlist it was unfortunate here so as you can see just the general advance um first of all i know that i'm not going to be pulled to the right to engage that uh, in that hill on the thing combined arms you know unsupported infantry cavalry and i've got to say in this whole tournament i'm not great with pikes i don't like pikes um you know, I, of course, I do mention to my opponent that I am a content creator and a Field of Glory fan. It was only right to say that uh, because, you know, but regardless of winning or losing, it doesn't matter. I enjoy these games. Uh, and the fact is that you all come out with something by the end of it. You either learn something new and you find something else to play around the community of Field of Glory 2 and Ancient Field of Glory Medieval or whichever you play. Um, so here we are. We decide to be a beeline beeline straight to his uh cav his infantry so my thing here was to zone and control them in and try and hit them with this left flank so of course the cavalry is still supporting and as we go and we get a little bit of a light fight soon so and this is like a 33 minute so we're about five six minutes in so we're going to do a skip slightly forward uh because unfortunately it, it is mostly advancing here okay so i think when it gets interesting is around the eight minute mark yes here so as you can see the lights this is what i want um you know uh, th there's a number of occasions where you can trip so what i want to do here my main tactic here is to push his lights into this center where i can charge so I love the light fight. I got to say, out of all the light fights, out of the fights in the game, the, the, the start fight is the best thing. So the best thing you want to do is make them flee forward and then you can charge them in the side with lights or vice versa. The vice versa, you charging them in the right. But here, we just get lucky, hooky, hooky. The fact is here, the... You know, the heavy pike, deep pike formations, heavy foot against skirmishers. The skirmishers are going to drop like a, a waffer fin mint. A waffer fin. So here we go. My entire job here is to zone of control his cavalry, zone of control any lights as possible. And I want to keep putting this pressure on his cavalry. Uh, and this is where I push forward. I want to hold them into position so they don't run away. You know, regards, the pikes are good. The pikes win. You know, I've got to say, the. The light cavalry of the Macedonian list for this list is amazing. Um, I can't pronounce it. The, the ones of a P, the little light cavalry units we got. They're amazing because they've got lancers. And they're just sneaky little buggers. Um, so here we are. We've got a, a slow advantage here. I think we've really hurt him. We've really hurt him in this game. Um, but it's just because we get, we get. I think it's a combination of, of, of like a slight bit of skill, I'll say, uh, and, a, and a lot of luck with the placement. Because now when you see the battlefield, the battlefield is, is forming. Uh, we, we started down here and now we're forming a line to the, we're splitting the map in half, uh, regardless than it being, um, regardless than it being, what do you call it? Um, 
horizontal, now it's becoming a vertical split in the map, and then we're completely uh, cutting it off in that position. Um, yeah, it's you know what, it's really good, and you know, I really it, uh, it makes me think about what I've done and uh, why I did it. You know, for better and worse. I don't you know. I've, I, I think in every tournament, I have some better rounds than than uh, than I have more crap rounds than I do, and it's I think due to just unconfidence with it or overconfidence. I think the word is overconfidence because um, I normally peak. And then I hit somebody and go, yeah, they 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 know what they're doing. But I think I need to I need to learn on keeping a cool head with my games and not being so overconfident with lists. Um, but I really enjoy all of it, regardless. So there we go. Uh, we are now on the point where we're going to have to pivot to look to the right side. Uh, but here we go. Nice co co cohesion drop. But remember, look, all of them take cohesion drops around. And my job here is just to try and turn, you know. But Get I get lucky. Here we go. This is all want to evade, and these evades are harsh. Because look, I'm thinking here. Look, he's going to evade straight into the side, flank. I think it counts as a. It doesn't count as a rear, does it? No. But oh, just and they're veteran cavalry. They're pretty good. And these light little cavalry. These little guys. They're amazing. That they they got uh, lance the lancers and, and um so unprotected lancer um I can't what was the other benefit that uh, on swordsman absolutely epic. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So here we are. Now it's just a case of zone of control. Zone of control. Turning it fine. I've got to say, I did feel the pressure here because his arm is coming to get me on that right side. But, you know, the masturbation pellets, I think it is, he's got to the right. Um, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going. And here, I know I do not want to engage them heavies. You know what? On a good day, I think I'll get cocky to push them forward. But I think I need to sometimes, you know... Exper I mean, cockiness and overconfidence does take you in. It takes you to, to bad places. You know, I like to feel I am competitive in this, but I'd like to still, I feel uh, I, I've, I've got a, good, a lot of sportsmanship and, you know, I, I would like to be quite fair. So here we are just trying to charge our way down and then we get a good impact on the uh, veteran cavalry. So they're going to get mashed. Uh, and now it's a case of just any zone of control, but we're getting into a little bit of a, a mess here. This is, you know, it's an interesting game, you know. I've got to say, um, on a rockier map, the Greeks might have pay, uh, you know, had a bit more of an advantage, um, but I've, I've got to say it's still difficult all the way here. Um, but you know, guys, you got to, ch you, you know, it's checking reruns. I know he gets a good charge there on the rear. You know that will change the facing of the cavalry on that left position. Uh, but we're still fine. Here we go, flank attack, and I got worried here actually, I'm really worried. And there he goes with the rear attack for the thing. And I thought, oh geez, we're gonna, but back to way you pay points for them them pikes there's a reason you pay points to the pikes because the pikes are good um but yeah and here we are we're getting shot up slightly from his arches this is where i think you know what we gotta we gotta get out of here lad you know it remember protect your lights light troops are worth a massive amount of points and that could worth a game that really could be a game there so here we are, forming. He's forming to that right side. So we're, we're going to have to turn. We've just boggled. We've just literally crawled uh, to that left side. But here we are, ready and waiting. But yeah, I, I, I slightly panic. But we know we can pivot quite easy. We know his cavalry is going to be in some trouble. But it's got a lot of light units here. Um, well, we, well, I mean, I won't spoil. I'll let you decide when you watch my uh, Greek side. But the Macedonians have the advantage. Loving it, just the light cavalry just pushing there, giving us that nice, that nice healthy uh, percentage. Uh, you, you can relax a little bit once you know you got a good, uh, a slight uh, advantage there. There we go. What I want, I want them to do to pop. I want you to pop. No, no. Here we go. Just, just, just. We had to charge them, in, unfortunately, but then causing a double drop fragmentation on the uh, things. Oh, just a horrid, horrid for them. And then a disruption on the left. That, like I said, a, a combination of being slightly skilled, but of course, luck always uh, has a um, a factor in Field of Glory too and Medieval. You know that, that dice roll, and it's what I like about dice games or things based on dice games that things could change, good and bad. And you just have to say. So now I'm worrying about. I need to pivot around. I need to form that line to face the oncoming Greeks because we know bad stuff is happening. Because the Greeks can spam. I mean, I've got a play the greeks more because they are the underdogs in here i mean macedon is a nasty faction nasty them pikes and definitely which are and we get luckily you get a fallback there which saves their their little bacon a little bit here 
you know, and now it's just harassing as much as possible, which is nice. Is now this cavalry is all back to action on this right, which would now be my right flank because we're going to see the the map turn over a little bit here. Uh, so you know what, it's it is pretty good still, and I'm 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 still particularly happy with the outcome here. Um, but we'll see. There we go. Now you can see me turning the, the field around. But that happens in games, and that makes the game so exciting that the, the tables and the maps are not just half and half. They can flip around. I've had plenty of games in Field of Glory 2 and Medieval uh, where, of course, maps have changed around completely. So looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the 12% uh, thing. And we get a, a, a nice charge with the Lancers there. Charging through. Whoa, they are beasts. I know why so many of the people I play and talk about pikes. Um, uh, and this is the uh, this video has been released at the time where the time warp add-on for Field of Glory 2 and Medieval has been added on. Um, and pikes do well, even against a lot of Medieval stuff as well. You'd be very surprised. Um, so here we are. Now the map has now twisted. Um I've now just got to... I'll just pause it for a second, actually. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll try and pause it. So we're about halfway through it. So when you think about the map now, it's completely... I've pulled this entire flank around to now face this up here. But remember, we are now on a lever field with the Greeks. The Greeks, unfortunately... I've got no hope for the Greeks. On a level playing field, no terrain factors. The only terrain factor here is that bloody built-up area. Um, and they get the fours back, which is a, a, a viable thing to do there on that center. Uh, center. Uh, the fact is, there we go, four back again. He, he can't sit there, get zone of control. Remember your zone of controls, ladies and gentlemen. If you if you do it correctly, you can cause a whole heap of trouble. It's slightly of a grog move. It can be a slightly a grog move. We get fragmented. This was only my near loss of the game. I will say that fragmented sling is in the center. Um, but you know what? It's it's certainly an interesting game. And here we go. Rally! We're going to come and poke you of our pikes. I don't... I, to be honest with you, I'm not a pike fan, uh, but pikes are amazing. Here we go. Now, you see, that's the nice thing. That setup is brilliant. When you can charge a, um, a, a fleeing unit like that, and I'm loving it now because all my lights are just hacking his lights up completely. And I've just got to pull that cavalry round to that left position to keep that pressure on him uh, and keep that pushing it to the uh, that side of the map on, on, the, on the screen. And here we are now. It's just now turned to face the uh, thing. So, But this is a pure example. And, you know, and I... I hold it not against my opponent. He was a new player, and it was unfortunate that he came against me. And I was being, I was being slightly mean. Uh, but I hope he learned something. And just you know what, um, it's just keep your coherency, combined arms, the mix of the cavalry, the lights. You, it's a. To be honest with you, I see his plan, what he wanted to do, but it just unfortunately didn't come into effect. I think the 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 it was my over, uh, you know, cons my what what would you call it? Just the amount of men that attacked him at one time. Ooh. Here we go. We've got a nice cheeky little rally on the right, left side there with the uh, uh, veteran cavalry. But you pay veterans, you get veterans. And here we are. But the POA advantages here for me are huge. Heavy pike, uh, deep pike. Is it pike? Deep pike. Oh, it's going to hurt anything uh, that's not a heavy foot unit. Even the Greek uh, things are going to get hurt. So he gets a little cheeky charge through there. I'm a little bit annoyed because that's now messed up the whole coherency. If you know, I did. I think what did go through my mind at some point would: do I do I form a square? Do I form a square there uh, to maybe not get charged by that cavalry? There we go. Now I'm worrying about that fragmented unit that it may just break. He just try and shoot it a little bit, but we'll see. And it's like, yes, I can get it out of the way. Flee. There we go, the break, back to 12. There we go. There we go. We're zone of control. They are moving up there, zone of control. Zone of control. Just remember, it, it's a hefty thing. There we go, charges. We, I wanted to get charged. Now. Oh, la derriere. Puff before us, French. Oh, la la. That was a, a nice little charge there in the rear. Um, yeah. So now we've got mass ration pellets uh, are not going to stand not going to stand you see what happens eventually on this is the left side caves rather than the center line you know he does have some veterans in there that do cause a little bit of shenanigans that oh and we got a lucky fragment on that cavalry that was gonna 
cause some hassle if you're digging for it. So here we are. Now, of course, like I said, the map flipping itself on its side. Uh, now the cavalry now can turn around uh, to cause some hassle and let him just keep keep him honest. Keep him honest. I like, I, I like that expression. The fact is I'm there just to keep him honest um, to actually stop him having pushing far on that right side. So it's it's all game at the moment. Uh, and i got to say... The, the mix, he should have kept them together. I mean, in regards of that, I still think the Greeks, this is a win-loss map. Very surprised if the Greeks can win this because I'm not going to spoil what I did because you can guess because you can see it if you want to on the scoreboard. Um, but um, the battle is really hard for the Greeks. I, I mean, I think I practiced once or twice with the Greek faction against the Macedons. And um, it's it's if it was more rough terrain... And you could get some of the mass Thracian pellets for the Greeks into them to cause some hassle. That would have made a whole difference on this game. Um, I can't remember if the mass on this could actually have any uh, rough anything that could sit in rough terrain, but probably just lots and lots of light. So there we go. The 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 the, the scene is set, and I think we're around twenty minutes out, the thirty three minutes into the final hacking session. This just gets brutal. Fall back, fall back, which is completely brilliant. I mean, chance for you, if you have to fall back, fall back. He fell back there, which dropped him. I don't know if that was a double drop. Or, oh, no, it was a single drop, but that was pretty harsh. But, hey, that happens. It happens to me all the time. But if you feel like you're going to be punished even more, there we go with the charge. Off we go to with the uh, Lancer Cavalry, disrupting the um, Javelin troops. There we go. Oh, this is just... just I, felt, I felt a bit naughty after this. fragmented on the houses but remember we're moderately disordered but he charged out i charged in so remember there and there we go just yeah they're, they're gone 22 i'm looking for the 30 we're just scoring points here there we go zone of control with the cavalry i've done it so many times if you feel you can't beat the cavalry just sit in its zone of control and go well what are you gonna do waste the unit Okay, so the, the pike unit is now engaged there. Now we're just all on. We know this left position is going to push for him. We've got the veteran unit on the left, which just needs to soon start earning its bread because it's doing bugger all. And there we go. We've just got to go and push now. And I think, yeah, here we go. There's a couple of these combats aren't in my favour. They really aren't. The, I think the veteran hoplites do give us have some advantage here. So here we are, turning the cavalry on the right to threaten and to keep him honest, like I said. Uh, there we go. Just trying. I'm just trying to get them points, just to get that 30% 30, 30 to just end the game. Um, got, I've got a plan here. It's just to be a, a, an arsehole. Uh, I think it's to charge with the hoplites and then pursue into the rear. There we go. Off you go. Gotta say, I think I get a high majority of catches in this, which is a little bit harsh. But the scene is set for the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Pikes. I know why people. This is like I said. I know this is why people like pikes. Pikes are just a bit harsh. Good rally on the cavalry to the left, which puts me in a slight off position. Uh, the the hoplites facing the uh, veteran uh, noble cavalry. On the left position, so we're just holding off there. I've got to, still got to be careful. Of course, on the left side. So he shoots me, disrupts my Lancer cavalry. All I can do is sit there and look at him. But um, the, my main objective on that right position is just to let him look at me. Here we go. This is not good. The combat modifier there is going to be huge for us. But the medium foot on his mid left flank is rather juicy. You know, I'm I'm happy that the fact is we can charge that. And there we go. Now the cavalry is all over the shop. Not happy where that is. I th there we go. Fall back disruption. It just gets unlucky here. Unlucky. There we go. Breaking down. Most of these points, I think, starting here. So this is probably what? Turn 12 turns left. Halfway through the game. Mostly from lights. And a bit of cavalry. You know. So here we go, all in the green, 60, 60 percent. There we go. Now we can start enveloping. Now we've got him on the pressure. We've got him blocked in. Keep pushing, Mr. York. Keep pushing. Them uh, medium foot need a little bit of um, uh, pike action. 
So here we go. We go for the charge. Try to get them to evade. This is what I want to do. And I think we, unfortunately, are, we're blocked by his controls. I think, do we get him here? I think we're just out of charge range. But regardless of that, pushing them two cavalry units on the left position out of control so they can't do any shenanigans. Uh, yeah, the, the, the mercenary hoplites are not in a good place. So the, we did, we're more defensive on the right here uh, just because he outnumbers us. And he could easily flank us. But we get a lucky cavalry unit right the way through. We're thinking, yes. Wham bam. Like I said, flee the fragmented unit. Um, but like I do say, my opponent was new and he still played good, but he's just learning curve, just a learning curve of all of it. And we all can learn, you know, we all can learn. We, I learned something today. So I think here, I just wanted to see if you'll charge. There we go, chucking some javelinos. There we go. Slightly, it's against the CNC in that unit in the center. Uh, I think, yeah, bugger it. Zone of control. We want to get rid of that cavalry. Uh, if it starts interfering on that little, little flank, we're going to be in trouble. Um, I think he did have a plan. He did have a plan. Um, defend the hill with everything else. But, but you know, like I said, it could have been bad. So we we're probably around 26, so about five minutes probably off this end of the game um and i've got to say it just just learning curve and there we go the pikes they're gonna punish this is punishing and like i said i, I do feel guilt doing because like these pikes just murder they murder they just murder everything i mean i don't know how you counter the pikes there's a fallback uh, there's the flank with the pellet, with the mass and pellets to the little right position against the cavalry. There we go. Now I start to worry. Now I start to worry because <clears throat> he just chucks everything in. I'm like, oh, my cavalry, my cavalry, my kingdom for a horse. And there we go. Fall back fragmentation. But that was just unfortunate. I mean, dice, the dice gods may sometimes not be uh, in your uh, ball, Paul. Here we go. Just hackity hack. We know his left will crumble eventually. There we go. He charges. He disrupts me. Ah! At the pikes. Now the pikes are in trouble because there's a veteran unit, a, pi uh, a, a, a unit of hoplites there with um, bloody C and a general in there. That POA advantage is going to hurt us. Here we go. Pokey bok Pokey de bok yeah, this this is just this is just nasty. This is the this gets a little bit howler. This is that's even better because I pushed him back. Now he's got the whole line in that centre, and it just gets disruption, disruption. There goes the fragmented arches in the rear. You know, sometimes rewatching these games helps me understand why I did what. And to be honest, it's more bad than good, just to let you know. Because I think, why the hell did I do that? You know, why didn't I just have do common sense? And then we know he's fragmented. We know I can move there. We know we can just uh, zone of control. Zone of control, ladies and gentlemen. I, I fail sometimes doing it. Oh, we did a bit of a cheesy grog. This is a grog move, and I apologise. And I will admit I do it. This cut, this unit here, we know he can't. he will change his facing. This unit would get defeated and pushed back. But this is blocked here for the flank. Do as you will. It is still a grog move, in my opinion. And I don't mind my opponent doing it to me, but it's slightly groggy. Uh, and I think I move. I make a mistake. I move. So that changes the face. Even though the pike would just walk over that medium foot unit. Um, here we go. We're just now just pursuing. We want them off the board. It's the points. Points mean prizes. It's, it is a tournament game. Um... So now all I've got to do is just turn around. I form square, I think, because I panic a little bit. Because I'm like, yeah, well, so here we go. Pokey poke. You see, I got slightly scared that I was going to push back. Now the fragmented on the uh, like mid left position. Well, I would call it the center now. They're disrupted. Sometimes time is an ally. Time is an alloy, ally. I think sometimes with some units, you know they're going to lose. But if they hold that unit up for two turns and something else gets into a better position, it is worth it. There we go. Disruption against the mass face and fellets. Yeah, it's disruption heaven here for him. So we're coming to the end very soon. We're on... 
I think there's probably two turns, probably like one turn left here, maybe. We'll see. But two fragmented units in the rear. Disruption all over the line. But it's Pikes against the wind. Pike, here we go. Now he charges. But we're in. It's 69. It could have easily dropped that with a good thing. I mean, I'm surprised the, the cavalry couldn't pursue. But the cavalry would win by impact by Lancer. Um, but yeah, the disrupted units fall back, break. That was unlucky. Unlucky that he didn't drop the unit next to him, actually. You see, that's on the left position where I should have kept that hoplite unit behind to actually block that unit in. I would have got a flank, but I don't think it particularly. But I don't. I don't think at this point it particularly matters for it. There's the flank, and actually holds firm, which is good. His cavalry fleeing on the on the left position is all I want. I'm happy that it's gone. There we go. Fragmented. He got lucky that a couple of these didn't break and I think would have broke earlier. Here you go. That was good. A lot of hold firms actually there in that position, which was good. There we go. Now we know we can flank. We just got to auto break that unit. Oh, oh. Bit of all right there, folks. A bit of all right. No reason to push and hit attack the hoplites, just go straight in for the mercenary hoplites rather than unengage unit in that center. Yeah, GG really here. Here we go. We thought I don't yeah, I I messed up there with that charge. I think I would have got an instant flank there. Maybe not even a drop, and it wouldn't I'll be honest with you, it's here we go. This is the groggy move. This is the groggy move time. This is what I'm talking about. I feel quite bad doing that, but I, I did it now. Does I think at this point it's just oh, there's no point in doing anything. Don't don't do anything harsh. But even then, veteran hoplites with um, uh, the C and C do come are quite good. You see, him not having that cavalry and stuff here now probably does reduces his effectiveness to flankers. The fact is now we just we just hold the position. We're just happy to hold. And I've just got us under control. There's just no point. There's just no point. But great game. Next turn. Okay, I think it's all over, unfortunately, for Poe Man. So there we go. I think that is about the game. And I think, is it pot out at 49? Uh, I think so. We're, we're done. We're done and dusted here. There we go. That uh, was it. Let me zoom. Come on, Mr. York. Zoom out so I can see the battlefield. There we go. So I'll just stop it there. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We, of course, the battlefield flipped. We attacked, flipped to the right, left even, and engaged down there as he flew down the center. Harsh game for him here, but you know what? Really enjoyed it really enjoyed every second of that and you know win or lose it doesn't matter so thank you very much for this uh overview for the round one of the rise of mastodon uh tournament uh this will of course go into the into the tournament uh, comparison video uh, playlist remember ladies and gentlemen click that like subscribe button there's always free videos for these uh playlists deployment battle and an overview i like to have a look back at what i did win or lose so you get to understand my movements and if i, I mean just doesn't matter if i win or lose as long as you remember you have fun and of course i will see you hopefully on another battlefield very soon and bye bye